Well, 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 today is yet another day to go out there and talk about some of the top Detroit Red Wings prospects. Now, we have made a few videos linking these two guys in the past, and it's very easy to see why we do this. We're talking today about Sebastian Cosa of the Grand Rapids Griffins, and we're also talking about Trey Augustine of the Michigan State University Spartans. Because when it comes to both of these guys, Hey, they happen to be Wings prospects, and they both happen to have had really good things happen to them over the past few days. Now, when it comes to the Red Wings, you could very well say that when it comes to their future, they've got a few things already on pat. They've got forwards coming up. Larkin's great. Debrinket is young-ish, so you could say that he's going to be good into the future. You have Raymond, you have a few other guys, Casper, Danielson, a lot of guys that could be interesting. On defense, you've got Sider, Edvinson, very, very nice, not to mention a few of the extra pieces. But in net, this is where these two shine, Kosa and Augustine, because when it comes to their recent performances, there are some very notable things that Wings fans should be excited for. To help us out with Sebastian Cosa, let's go over onto an article published about 17 hours ago from Detroit Hockey Now, talking about how Cosa has tied a 22-year-old team record. Link to this article will be in the description. It was published by Kevin Allen, and it goes out there and talks about how Red Wings prospect goalie Sebastian Cosa added another highlight to his first American Hockey League season when he led the Griffins to a 4-3 win against the Rockford Ice Hogs on Saturday night. Kosa made 26 saves in the win, which extended his own personal point streak to 15 consecutive games, wherein he's gone 10-0-5. That ties the Grand Rapids Griffins franchise record held by Mark Lamoth, who went 9-0-4-2 during the 0-2-0-3 season. Lamoth played in two games for the regular Detroit Red Wings in 0-3-0-4. Now, I get it. You could say, wait a minute, what kind of a record is that? That's like completely bogus baseball stats right here. Consecutive games with a point for a goaltender in a personal streak. That is such a peculiar and weird stat that honestly, if this article had not been published, I would not have seen this stat pop up at all. Like, nothing. But I guess it is kind of cool to see that the Grand Rapids Griffins now have a new record holder for consecutive games personally with a point. Kosa has been stringing together games with points, 10 wins, 0 losses in regulation, and 5 overtime losses. So the fact that he has been getting his groove on, he's been feeling the puck a lot more, that is a great sign, especially when you consider how Sebastian Kosa struggled a lot earlier on in his Grand Rapids Griffins career. The article then says that Kosa has not lost in regulation since January 12th. In his 15-game streak, he has given up three or fewer goals 12 times, and he's given up two or fewer goals nine times. So over half of these games in this streak, Sebastian Kosa is giving up two or fewer goals, which is a really good stat. He's rotating around with Michael Hutchinson in the Griffins' net, and the tandem has helped the Griffins to the fifth-best record in the Western Conference. They are second in the Central, six points behind the Milwaukee Admirals. Now, when you go over to Sebastian Kosa and his total profile, this is where the numbers start to shine, because in his last five games, Kosa has, or not five games, they list three games here. So in his last three games, Sebastian Kosa has six goals against, so a flat two goals against average, and he's made 82 saves with a 932 save percentage. That's a pretty good number, if I do say so myself. And if you go over to Kosa's last six games, he's had 15 goals against, so what? Let's do the math on that. 15 divided by six, that is, uh, yeah, my mental math sucks. Two and a half. 2.5 goals against average, which isn't great, but his 9-12 save percentage still is pretty good. In totality, Sebastian Kosa this year has a 9-12 save percentage in 31 games played. 2-5-4 goals against is the total stat line, which is a great, great improvement over his 7-8-3 save percentage in three games with the Griffins last season. Everybody was talking about this season. Everybody was panicking about it. Oh, is there reason to be concerned? Was Kosa the right pick? 
at 15th overall should Stevie Y have gone with Jesper Wallstead instead if he wanted a goalie. And we've done this song and dance before, but at the end of the day, this is the guy the Wings have. He's been very good, and that is more than appropriate for getting everybody hyped up. But the thing with Kosa is that he is not the only goaltender that you should be paying attention to, because when it comes to Trey Augustine and the Michigan State University NCAA club, they recently won themselves the Big Ten Championship. They had themselves the final game against the Michigan Wolverines, they won 5-4 in overtime, and you had Trey Augustine, the Detroit Red Wings 2023 second round pick, go out there and backstop the Spartans to the 5-4 victory. If you go over to the individual stats here, you'll see that when it comes to Augustine, he had 33 saves and four goals against. So, you know, I get it. You could say 33 divided by 37 isn't the best save percentage in the world. It's 891, but he still was able to help his team win and ultimately get the championship mark. Now, Big Ten went out there and tweeted this out that from the game, Trey Augustine was the most outstanding player. So there you go, Augustine getting a little bit more recognition on his trophy case right there. And if you wanted to see the total profile, Augustine in his last five games has 12 goals against and 178 saves with a 937 save percentage. Very, very good. And if you go over to his last 10 games, his save percentage drops from a 937 to a 932. Still very good. And his goals against is exactly the same. 24 goals against in his last 10, 12 goals against in his last five. He's literally neck in neck, and he's been so consistent the entire year. Augustine, if you go over to his profile in totality, 918 save percentage and a 288 goals against in 33 games played as a freshman goaltender at 18, 19 years old in the NCAA. 22, 8, and 2 is a great record, and of course, this is all coming after his phenomenal stint with Team USA, where he had a 936 save percentage and a 175 goals against in four games played. Trey Augustine has been putting on a show, and when it comes to what a lot of Wings fans are talking about, I wanted to bring up this Reddit thread on the R Red Wings sub, because there are some very good conversations that are brought upon because of these discoveries. Take a look at the top comment here from CD23TOL. I want us to have to make a difficult decision about the long-term goaltender of this franchise. I'm just dreaming of a tandem like Allmark and Swayman. I genuinely think Kosa and Augustine could be incredible together. I really hope their development is only a year or two apart so we can have that kind of a tandem. Now I will say, big word of caution, when it comes to the allmark Swayman tandem, yes, it has been very good. But the unfortunate part about tandems like these is that they don't tend to last too long. Mostly because it usually gets to a point where one guy or the other guy is so good and you have to make yourself a choice because you're going to have to commit money and you see things like these happen all the time. We're already talking about Linus Allmark trade rumors, how he could have gotten sent over to LA, maybe Edmonton could get their paws on him. Even top-tier goalie duos of the past, like Luongo Schneider, for example. That one was never going to last. You had, what was it, Alex Lyon and Sergei Bobrovsky with the Panthers the other year? I mean, look, tandems don't really tend to last, but I feel like the Boston Allmark Swayman tandem is one of the exceptions to the norm. So if the Wings are able to get some sort of a Kosa and Augustine tandem to sustain itself for several years, let's say it's even down the middle, 41 games, 41 games for both of these guys, that would be the ideal situation, especially if both of these guys pan out to their potentials of being top goaltenders. But it's unlikely. Mostly because it's just so rare, I have a difficult time saying that it's ever gonna be likely until it actually happens, right? So I hope I'm proven wrong in that assessment, but this entire idea definitely would be great to witness. But other than that, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your opinions about Sebastian Kosa and Trey Augustine? How they've been setting records, how they've been winning games, winning championships for Augustine and the Michigan State University Spartans. There are some extra games that they will have to play. They just wrapped up the Big Ten tournament, but now they have to go on to the national tournament. So we may not see Augustine wrap up his 23-24 season just yet, depending on how far the Spartans end up going. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about these two goaltending prospects for the Detroit Red Wings and how you feel they're going to progress as their careers go forward. I hope you enjoyed this Vidishash Rolls 99 and bye.